Alright, hey, hey, what's up? Hope you're all doing good. Playing Grounded, just checking out the game, seeing what all the hype's about. Hope you enjoy it. Appreciate you watching. Let's go. You can't run from me, you foul beast! <laughs> you think you have smarted me? The mighty Muldoon? I don't think so, you Stay tuned for what happens next on Yoke's Girth. Now a word from our sponsor. Kids, are you ready for a new wild and wacky Puncho fruit flavor? Introducing Apricot. It's a punch to the gut. So stop by, fill up, and make sure you get your Billy Hog hot dog before you get away. Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news. In the business world, Omnit Practical Technology signs a new deal with... Oh, Pete. Oh, looks like you really stepped in it this time. Just where in the world are you? Hello? Hello? All right, Pete. Remember your scout training. Step one, get your bearings. Girl, this looks sweet. I was making a sound. I guess I'll never know. How are we supposed to get our bearings? Hey, a common example of the Fermicidae family. Don't worry. Oh god. Oh god. Signal detected. Oh god. Was it too early for this? Hey, come back here. Hey. Yeah, hey, Mr. Ant, come here so I can beat your ass. Damn it. One more. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come here, damn it. I'm gonna get you. I'll freaking get you, don't you worry. Hey! That was so totally worth it. Alright, <laughs> back to the back to our objective. Back from my antics. <laughs> no pun intended. Okay, he's a resource analyzer. Well, logic dictates that there are probably more of these stations around. Maybe if I keep searching, I'll find some clues. Or some one. No, let's analyze what we have. I picked up some stuff on the way back. Science. Okay. All right, we analyzed everything we could. Oh yes, I'll take some of them granola bars. We look for more science equipment. Analyze a pebblet at a resource center. 
find water, plant fiber, find and eat some food. All right, well. Better than starving, I think. There we go. Eat some food. Okay, we had a plant fiber. We can't analyze it until it charges. So let's go drink some water. Let's go find some water. Okay, here's some water. Size of that thing. It's probably the size of a a bathroom scale. Yeah, yummy. Delicious. I think I poisoned myself. Find clean water. All right, let's see if we can analyze this now. Yes, we can. Science. Nice. Okay, craft a pebblet axe. There you go. Yeah, three sprigs, two pebblets, and one crude rope. Okay, I can make some crude rope, I think. There we go. Nice. Oh yeah, there we go. How good's that? Okay. Oh, we got some grass. Very nice. All right. I don't think it's charged yet. Nope, nearly. I'm gonna wait for it to recharge. Here we go. Nice. We can make a spear now. Nice. That'll be better than just using my fists. Okay, we still have to find clean water. If I was clean water. Where would I be? Oh, that works so much better. That's so much better than my hand. Oh, here we go. Mysterious machine. I was a fool to have ever doubted myself. A fool like Klein, like Kaminsky, like Schmechter, like all of Ominent. I am here in the backyard. Down in the backyard. I mean, I am speaking to you from the backyard. I am tiny! I should gather my thoughts. This is a momentous occasion. Wendell Tolley official log, 89.08.05. Recording as I take my first steps into the miniature world. The sights are unbelievable. The textures, the, the way the light falls upon every surface, the subtle patterns in all of the objects that surround me, the grass. Even common lawn grass looks like a structure from an alien world. Wait, what's that sound? The very earth is trembling. Over there, what could it be? An ant! My God, today, the world has changed forever. That was cool. All right, let's. Uh... Oh. Tiny feet. Huh. Well, looks like this thing hooks up with those lasers. I don't think that worked properly. It seems like okay. the machine needs all three lasers to function. Maybe there's a way to fix them. Yes. Chop the grass down. There we go. Alright, this one's weak. Why is it weak? Let's go have a look at the actual actual thingy itself. Oh, here we go. Get off it. Stop eating it. Get off there. Hey, hey. Frickin' lawn light. Okay. Uh, and here Light we go. Up ahead. 
the goblin of the backyard. Let's make. A you know torch. what they say? A foolish consistency is the hobgoblin of little mites. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Get off it. Oh. Uh, well then. Um. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, we made it back. Gotta get my stuff back. There we go. Oh, these little things are strong. Okay, let's craft some bandages before we get too far in. Okay. Here we go. Okay, nice. Let's use one. Yeah, there we go. Choke it down, Pete. Get some food. And let us keep going in. There we go. It is repaired. No, I do not have a hammer. Oh well. Let's go back. Alright, we're back. Let's see. Activate. There we go. Damn. I think this is the, uh... I think this is what shrunk us. And this is how we get back to being big. Okay. Well, apparently it's getting late, so we gotta build a shelter, so... Build a lean-to. I might build it at the back of the safe place. Ow. There we go. Alright. You'll wake up in the dark. That respawn point? Okay, we went to sleep. And now it's night time. So I think it's a good time to go and inspect that explosion. A scientific breakthrough. Whatever it is. Drink a dewdrop. Okay, how do we drink a dewdrop? There we go. That's how you do it. Awesome. Okay, investigate the oak tree explosion. Time for the big reveal. Oh, what the hell? What is this? Okay. Unpair. Uh, oh, okay. Well, there's heaps of sap. Hey. Where are you hurt? Help! Berg L. There we go. Thanks for the helping hand. I 
am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. Okay. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. Yeah, you're not wrong. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? Uh, where am I? You are here, in the Oak Lab. Built and used by Dr. Wendell Tadelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Who is Dr. Wendell Dr. Tully? Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. <laughs> However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my c c corrupted memory banks. Maybe. Uh, how come I can't remember anything? It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. Uh, there's some big words, buddy. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent pending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully your memory will return in time. Uh, yeah, um... Yeah, I hope it does. How do I get home? To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Well, let's, uh, let's find a solution, shall we? <laughs> idea. Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing! Processing! Memory fault. Code 408 b 3000 Ominent ARG. I am sorry again. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Man, you just, you just keep, keep giving me bad news. So how do we get the memory chips? Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Super chips are special, and they are gold. They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. Okay, other, other labs? Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Processing. Processing. Error. Of course. Files not found. Code 632C404. Cheese and fries! The lab locations are missing from my memory banks, too! Oh, come on, man. Give me some good news. But we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. You know who it reminds me of? Friggin' Claptrap from Borderlands. <laughs> Friggin' talks and talks. The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard and used for research on arachnid webbing. You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the hedge, sending the coordinates to your scabby. 
Try to find the hedge lab first, but there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. Ha 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 ha! Shut up. That reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL network of computers too. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those ch chips and try not to die out there. Have an exponentially great day. Oh, I, I freaking will after that big bloody talk. Holy crap. Yeah, finally. Okay, analyze a, a grass plank at resource analyzer and build a workbench. Use a biometric scanner at the ACL terminal in the Oak Lab. I'm holding raw science in my hands. Okay. There we go. Previous super chip. It is nice to see a friendly face around here. How can I help you today? Ask away, my friend. Oh, there's so many things. How can I help you today? Please refrain Goodbye, from Goodbye, bud. Me. Goodbye. Uh, okay, find the hedge lab. No, let's try and use that scanner now. Wherever it was. Ah, here it is. Okay, there's nothing really... Nothing really down here. Alright, let's get this tape. This morning, I installed the borrowed lab modules. Another one of my forgotten inventions from the early days. I had such grand notions back then. The Kinder Science Mini Quick Little Chemist Lab Educational Toy for Children. But no, Wendell, we can't possibly put hydrochloric acid into the hands of children. The lawyers will never agree. <laughs> it's a good thing I never told them about the Bunsen burners. Odd that Ominent has been using my toy pieces in this way. Hmm. I digress. The lab network is now up and running in the backyard. I'm planning to dedicate each one of them to a different function. Main power will run through here. The Oak Lab is the center of operations for the backyard. The second lab is nestled into the hedge. Such wonderful views from up there. Side note. I'm worried that Ominent's shoddy manufacturing of the lab pieces will cause them to fall apart over time, but they will do for now. They call this stuff. Alright. What's this? Huh. Interesting. Let's use that. Buy that. And we'll buy that. Okay, take all those quests. Alright. Uh -huh. Let's get out of here. Well, this is freaking cool so far. Hopefully you're enjoying it. I'm going to leave it here because uh, we've got a ton of things to do and uh, we've already been spending a lot of time getting to this point. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one.